Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all, I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos that you watch them, like them and especially if you subscribed. I'm truly, truly great for it. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to give you a big welcome. I'm very glad you found me and I hope that this reading will be helpful for you. Today we're going to take a look what kind of energies you can expect in the month of July from a money, career and finance perspective. But as usual, this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind let's get started in the center of your reading you do have the four of wands the four of wands is the card of uh, a celebration a get together uh, of a any kind uh, this can be a celebration of a new job a new offer uh, uh, or an end of a, a, a project uh, something that is a big milestone in your life uh, what's very important with the four of wands this is the card of 11 11 which can be an indication that uh, this season uh, a new era a new beginning is starting for you uh, and a, a portal is open for you for some kind of a new start in your money career finance again this can be a new project a new business a new job uh, or uh, some kind of a new pro opportunity uh, that will be very influential uh, for you. Uh, again, the Four of Wands um, can be some kind of a reunion as well, as well. So maybe you will reconnect with somebody from the past uh, uh, from a money career finance perspective. Uh, but it's also uh, leaving something behind, right? So we talked about the new new beginning. So you might be leaving something behind. Uh, normally this card has a tower in the back as well. But the difference between this tower and the tower tower card that these people are leaving the tower willingly and not by a force. So maybe you are leaving something behind and uh, you're starting something new this season. But let's see the other cards. Your re reading starts with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is all about protecting uh, yourself, protecting uh, your family, your pre protecting whatever you achieved. This indicates that maybe you have to stand up for yourself at work. Uh, maybe you have uh, a lot of competition where you are and, uh, and you need to protect whatever you achieved. Uh, again, this can be uh, also that maybe you have to stand up for whatever you believe at work or in your business uh, because you can see that there's lots of uh, attacks coming from uh, every angle uh, that might makes you that might make you very tired but again you are in the good position you're able to uh, uh, you are in the leading position and you're able to um, come out as a winner from this situation whatever it, it, it is Again, it can be some uh, bad mouthing as well, uh, dependent on whatever uh, describe your uh, work situation. Just think about that some people might be attacking uh, your uh, position. And again, they can be some people that are uh, jealous of you, jealous of whatever you achieved. Uh, so uh, watch out for that in, in July, or maybe that's the... Uh, overarching energy that's influencing you your current situation and your next card is um, the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is uh, the card of security abundance and amazing uh, financial results uh, usually when this uh, king comes in that's an indication that prosperity is coming to you he is all about wealth resources luxury this card might indicate you or indicate somebody that you might be dealing with it can be your boss your co-worker uh, maybe uh, somebody with this energy will come in and help you uh, to protect your situation um, usually uh, whatever if you if you get an advice from from uh, uh, this mature business person uh, who might be embodied by uh, the king of pentacles very important to listen to that advice because he knows what he uh, everything in terms of how to make money some of you might be working on your own empire building your own empire and you have to protect it uh, so take it as it resonates um, the next card we have here is 
the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is the card of charity, help. Uh, usually this is the card that comes up when you're getting uh, a help either from the universe or somebody from a higher power and balance is being restored. So you can see he has his scales and it's, uh, it's in balance. So this is an amazing card when uh, you do have you when you're trying to get some financial help maybe you are trying to get somebody uh, to invest in your own business you're try you're applying for some loan or you might be uh, trying to buy a home as well because that's a pretty big uh, financial is investment or uh, you have your own business and you're trying to get some loans. This is a card that indicates that somebody from a higher power will come and help you financially. And this higher power might be somebody, like the, somebody who is actually the king of pentacles. If you are applying for a job, this is an amazing card because you're going to get uh, what you uh, are looking for. Uh, and and when this comes comes out uh, comes up uh, in the reading, uh, uh, it can be also a sign that you might be actually way success successful in the area that you're working in uh, than you even think. So maybe you are getting in a better position, uh, uh, you're getting in a uh, a promotion, or you're starting your own business, and you're gonna be actually way more successful than you ever imagined. So let's see the continuation. The next uh, card is the three, <coughs> three of cups, <coughs> which is a, a <coughs> just a sec. Sorry, I had to drink some water. Uh, so the three of cups, which is uh, the card of celebration. As you can see, you have three people celebrating. This comes up usually when you uh, achieve the milestone and you're very proud of whatever you achieved. Again, you might have uh, uh, finished a successful project, uh, you completed um, your studies, uh, you uh, started, you're starting a new job, you're starting your own business, whatever uh, you are working on, uh, when this card comes up, it's an indication of celebration. And let's not forget that it's right on top of the Four of Wands, which is all about reunion celebrating. So I think July going to be uh, some reason for you to celebrate from a financial perspective because again this card indicates some additional money as well maybe you're getting you're gonna get a bonus or an increase and the next we have here is <coughs> the queen of wands the queen of wands is uh, somebody who's very attractive she's a leader and she can, can achieve whatever she wants uh, usually this is a card that that uh, has a lot of uh, excitement to it uh, very adventurous energy uh, a great card if you are start want to start your own business or you're starting a new project again this can indicate you or indicate somebody in a higher position that might be helping you that has this energy uh, but again the, the queen of wands what's really important that she always gets what she wants because she's very attractive uh, she has she's radiating and uh, and I think uh, this might indicate that in this season, uh, in this July, you will be able to get whatever you want. Uh, if she wants to have a job, she's not going to settle for anything. She's going to get her dream job. So uh, whatever you're working on, uh, I, I think you're going to get it this month because you do have the Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. And on top of that, you do have all the celebration cards. You might have to uh, fight back a little bit some energies around you. Maybe, uh, as I said, some jealous people. But I think overall, uh, this reading uh, starts amazingly. But let's see how it uh, uh, ends. Uh, but before that, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, that's an indication that the message resonated with you. And it also helps me to increase the channel. And for you, that's, that's uh, just a push of a button. So I hope you already pushed the button. Uh, but I, um, I, uh, I'm very glad to read uh, in the comments what's going on in your life. Uh, so the next card we have here is uh, the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is a very generous, ger very kind energy. It's a, a good card uh, uh, for creative projects as well. Some of you might be working with children. Uh, but it, it is a card of a reunion as well. 
uh, when this com card comes up, uh, usually something from the past is coming back to you. Uh, now this something from the past can be uh, maybe you are reconnecting uh, with an old co-worker, an old boss. Again, it's very connected to uh, the reunion, the Four of Wands uh, and, and both uh, the Six of Cups and uh, the Four of Wands can indicate some kind of a reunion. Maybe uh, the person you, who you are reu reuniting with is uh, the person who embodies the King of Pentacles energy and, uh, and, and that's going to start something great. But again, uh, the Six of Cups is, is, is very good, very helpful energy. Uh, when you are kind of thinking back in the past, it, it, it has this nostalgic feeling as well. And the next you have here is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is the card uh, that, uh, that shows that you are leaving something uh, behind, something that doesn't serve you. As you see, he's leaving all those empty cups that made him happy before, but no longer. He's wearing his red cloak, which is an indication that he's following his path, uh, passion. And the moon as well, indicating uh, to follow your heart, follow your instincts. And and again, you might be leaving something behind this uh, month, something that doesn't serve you, uh, maybe those people that are attacking you. Um, <clears throat> I can totally see a new beginning, right? You do have the four of ones as a new beginning, and, and you might be reuniting some with somebody, and that whole uh, reunite, uh, that unification and, and, and that celebration might actually uh, get you to leave something behind this uh, July. And the last card we have here is the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles can be uh, balancing things, right? So you might be balancing your finances, you're balancing all of the projects that are coming to you. Uh, maybe you're amazing and you're very resourceful uh, this season. Uh, because that's what really the Two of Pentacles is all, all about, that, that you're able to balance your uh, personal life, your work life, you're uh, able to balance whatever project comes to you, and, and you're, uh, you're very uh, great at making sure that everything is done. And for me, this card also with the rainbow indicates that uh, uh, probably some better times are coming for you, especially that you, ha you have some, uh, some of the battles. Uh, but this card can also uh, signify uh, uh, some kind of a decision that you have to make uh, this uh, time. Again, this decision might be related to leaving things behind and starting something new. Uh, but overall, you do have a, a, a great energy um, in this spread and we look at uh, the bottom of uh, your deck is the world card which is the card of celebration uh, an end of a cycle and a new one is beginning again if you look at it you have the wreath uh, that shows that you achieved something and you learned all of your lessons so I think there's definitely something new is uh, beginning that's going to be worth for you to celebrate this month uh, so, dear Leo, that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated, and I'll see you again.